I think it can often sound a bit patronising when you say men and women are different. You know, certainly um, people that have been influenced by feminism, uh, my mate Dennis Walsh for a start, you know, he'll, the minute you start talking about physiological differences in terms of how the brain works, you know, he starts thinking about a sort of like a patriarchal narrative that has been used to suppress women. And uh, I'm with him on that. I was really interested in the Guardian article, I think last week, that was exploring some recent thoughts around the fact that um, pre um, the growing of food as human beings, when we were sort of like hunter gathering, uh, that kind of society was egalitarian. And the way men and women responded to their environment, the way their hormonal life developed was rooted in what they were doing in terms of their functions. So that the male of the species would be out hunting and gathering, would need certain perceptual uh, awarenesses, would need to evolve and develop a way of seeing the world and being in the world and responding to the world that caused his hormones to develop in a certain way. The corpus callosum with less connections between the two hemispheres of the brain in men was more suited to that focused attention, to that being able to um, not, not be... Um, absorbed with making connections when they were out hunting you know of course the fight or flight response works in men and women in, in much the same way but as he was out hunting and gathering if he saw a tiger print on the floor and pondered is this uh indian or or, or bengal or whatever you know he became supper for the tiger so the our brain physiology and neurophysiology evolved for these different functions and prior to there being profit in our economy in terms of growth or whatever however you look at that um, society was probably egalitarian that men and women got to um, move in 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 a sort of um, to respond if you like to their neurophysiological hormonal responses in a way that served the community so their strengths were uh, sort of like highlighted and used in that way. Women would be at home, would be not, oh, I nearly said at home then. <laughs> Women would be back nurturing uh, and all that, that kind of stuff. Now, even as I say it, I get worried that people will hear that as a sexist comment. But the, this is a comment that's rooted in uh, an endocrine an endocrine, endocrine, oh, I can't even say it, but you know what I'm saying, right? Uh, I'm not going to labour the point. But, so for me, as uh, I'm exploring these themes, uh, particularly in the context of how um, men can receive birth education in such a way that it enables them to create uh, a kind of presence, a kind of being with her as she births, that in a sort of like, almost like a, a new agey woo-woo way, creates like a force field like bubble that she experiences and that inside that bubble uh, she can be free to express herself almost regardless of what's going on outside of it almost in spite of what's going on outside of it you see what i'm finding though is that although men uh, want to know the information about birth uh, often it's with the view to fixing stuff. Whereas I'll say to a group of men, look, find out what question she is asking and know all about that. But when you're talking about it, take her lead. Do not jump to a fix. You see, a woman has far more connections between the two hemispheres of the brain. So she is processing and thinking and thinking through and coming to a conclusion. And you're sitting there going, come on, the answer's obvious. I can see it. Well, you've jumped to a conclusion because you have that ability to focus your attention in a particular way. It's not the right way. It seems the right way. For you, you want to fix it. For her, she wants to explore it. She wants to verbalise her exploration. She's not telling you about what she's going to do. She's not telling you about a decision. She's not come to a decision. She wants you to listen. I said it last time and I'll say it again. This connection that you're going to need when you're with her as she's birthing 
will develop over time. You have the pregnancy to do it. You've hopefully been doing it for a long time. Um, it's a skill that you can develop. Thank you for listening.